Welcome to the Inspirational, Informational, and Transparent Aviation Careers Podcast. Today we're going to discuss whether you should focus on building time or trying to get the most lucrative or best paying job in aviation. That'll be coming up next, but first of all, a shout out to our sponsors and a big thank you to Plain English Sim. Plain English Sim is an app-based application where you can actually learn aviation English. I know a lot of you actually come to this podcast so that you can learn aviation English, but at plainenglishsim.com, they've come up with an app where you can both learn VFR and IFR, and it really is a great application. And by the way, what they're doing is they're giving away 50 scholarships guides this month. So go check them out at aviationcareerspodcast.com slash free to get your free coupon. And also check out their app if you really want to learn aviation English, plainenglishsim.com. Also a big shout out to all of our sponsors out there at the Pay It Forward uh, program. Just go out and take a look at that, aviationcareerspodcast.com slash pay it forward. And you can see how you also could help sponsor this podcast and also help people get scholarships because every dollar we raise through our Patreon account and all the other ways that we raise money goes towards free scholarships, guys. And that's where they can get those scholarships for uh, at aviationcareerspodcast.com slash free. And it's over $120 million in scholarships and it keeps changing every month. Well, first of all, before we get started on this topic, I do want to say one thing. I want to say thanks for being patient. Uh, I know I haven't put out much content. I've been kind of secretive about what's going on. So let me make the big announcement. I actually am uh, now a captain with the airline. Uh, I'm in the Airbus A320-321, and I just finished my upgrade training a couple of days ago. I'm pretty excited about that. But also another cool thing is now I'll be able to put out more content uh, because a couple other things have happened. I was invited to become an instructor, both in the simulator and the ground instructor uh, at my airline, and it's right here in Orlando. So I'll be able to put out a lot more videos and also content here with the podcast. So so thanks so much for that. If you have any questions about the Airbus, by the way, maybe I'll do a couple series on those. Uh, maybe help some of you that are going through training. Um, I'm also going to be talking about that upgrade progress and, and process through uh, the other podcast, Stuck Mike Avcast. They wanted to interview me on there to kind of ha- see how it relates to actually going through your ratings. And I think that would be a good one for you folks to watch. Also, I think uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that here as far as how to uh, successfully uh, get through training because we haven't done one of those in a while and things have changed just a little bit uh, since the pandemic. So we're going to remember we had Justin Ash on in a previous episode to talk about that. We're going to discuss that again in the future. Anyway, let's move on to the show here and talk a little bit about uh, what you should be concentrating on, either time or money. And, um, you know, a lot of times people ask me that. uh, Should I try to get the best paying job in aviation or should I focus on time? The the best answer to that is try to get both. You know, try to do both if you can. Try to get the the best paying job that will also build hours. But this all depends on also on your stage in life. So we've talked about this uh, in the past and in the way that I went about my airline career in that I paid for all my training while I had another job. So I want to break this down into the different stages in life and where you are or maybe a friend of yours is and we can discuss what you should be focusing on. So first let's talk about real simple. Uh, let's talk about the stage of life of being a high school student. You probably for most people wouldn't have to worry about the money right now. Um, you're probably living uh, with your parents, etc. That's the majority. Some aren't. And I understand you, you may have a job to help out with the family. But right now, if you're in that stage of life, you really should be thinking about building more hours than anything else. Um, one of the things that I think is, is the worst thing you can do is think about, well, you know, I think I need to build my money up so I can do these ratings. There's so much out there for you uh, if you're in high school or even in college, but especially in high school. And this is something I want you to think about. Time, right? We talk about time, and it's hard for somebody in high school to understand this. So for those parents that are listening, the friends of parents, etc., uh, make sure you somehow are, go out and talk to the student about how important maybe getting a scholarship is. Because, you know, we have that scholarships guide. But the majority of scholarships, let's face it, are for younger people, high school and college, primarily for high school. And so what you want them to do is spend the time working on getting some of those scholarships because that'll pay off. For instance, say you just get a $500 scholarship and it takes you two hours to get that. That's $250 an hour right there. 
But say you spend more time and you're able to find scholarships for a private pilot certificate, an instrument rating, something other than that. That is time well spent. So in that case, you do want to spend some, some time on that, uh, getting the money so you can pay for your rating. So in that case, there is a, a point of, hey, money is somewhat important there because it's a large amount of money. So again, it all depends, right? But when in your high school time, you should actually look at building hours, maybe impossibly looking at some gliders and glider flying, depending how old you are, maybe if you're 14 years old, and start looking at that time frame there. And one of the things that we need to look at is just worry about building time for the majority of you. I'd say 90%. Just worry about building your time, hanging around aviation, reading as many books and magazines as you can. I love AOPA. They have a thing called Flight Training Magazine. I'll have a link down below to that talks about that. But that's something you really should be talking about is more your career because right now you don't have as many obligations. So let's try to focus on, on building the time. Uh, also, by the, in this video that we're doing and also in the podcast, I'll have the timeline. So if you want to skip to to which one of these is more prevalent to you. But I, I encourage you to listen to everything because that would help those people that are in those specific situations, like the high school student. So high school student, focus on building your time, but also take a look at those scholarships because that time that you spend working on those scholarships could turn into a lot of money. Let's move on from high school. Now let's go on into our college career. Some of you have to pay for this yourself, etc. Maybe you've already gotten scholarships. There's scholarships available to you as a high school student and also uh, somebody who's dual enrolled, but also as the college student. And for specifically this college student, I would say focus on your training and focus on your classes and focus on building your hours, not so much the money. Um, in the scheme of things, if you're looking, and it's hard to realize this right now, but if you look at over a lifetime of an airline career or any career re really that requires you to get a lot of experience first to get a good job, if you wait a long time, you're, you're going to actually lose a lot of earning potential. And I talk about that, how, you know, just a couple of years can cost you a couple million dollars uh, in earnings. And you can go back and take a look at that in, in a previous video. But it's so true is that if you if you can try to get into this career as, as quickly as possible, because there's something very unique to this career in aviation, whether it's in the airlines and in the corporate world, a lot of it's based on seniority and your pay is based on seniority. So therefore, what you want to do is make sure you get there as quickly as possible so that you you can actually start earning money and move up the ladder as far as pay is concerned. Your pay is based on how many years you have with the airline, period. The fact that I upgraded to captain just was because of the fact that my seniority number came up and I was able to upgrade to captain. I postponed my upgrade, but I had the choice to do that. But it's only based on seniority that you get your pay increases, etc. So that's one, one thing to think about there, to motivate you to move forward and get your hours so that you can get to that airline career. Also, time and money. Think about valuable time, too. You're in that stage now. Time, certain times are more valuable than others. Uh, Multi-engine time, of course, that's more val valuable. If you want to move on to a major airline, turbine time is valuable. Pilot and command, turbine time. So let's look at your goals. The number one goal should be pilot and command, turbojet time or turbine time. And that actually is something you can look at now, if you, even if you're 13, 14, and think about how I'm going to get to that point. And to do that, it may, it may require you to get your multi-engine rating, may require you to get your multi-engine instructor rating, just so you can build up enough time so that you can fly either in the corporate world a multi-engine or maybe move on to the airlines. The airlines is a great way to build time uh, as far as the uh, regional airlines is concerned because of the fact that um, you build so many hours over a year. Whether you're going to go corporate for the rest of your life or not, that regional experience I think is really good. It also if you are thinking of going corporate, it's a great idea to do that for a little bit because it might make you realize, hey, this is why I want to go corporate. Or like in my case, I realized, hey, I really like 121 flying, so I, I like flying passengers, so that's where I want to stay. So time or money there. And we're going to talk a little bit about um, the goals in the end as far as time and money. Um, and so we'll talk about some of the things that I've heard from people and, and uh, some, some things that I think are discouraging, but we'll talk about that at the end. So now, let's say you've actually finally graduated college, um, but now you've uh, found a job that pays a lot of money. As a, as a college graduate, you have your flight instructor, but it only gets you 200 hours a year of flight time. But then you could f uh, work another job that is only a third of that, 
uh, as far as pay is concerned, but it gets you a thousand hours a year of flying time. The preference, of course, is going to be get, to get the hours, but it's all it all depends on you and your individual situation. That's why you need to talk to a career counselor, a career coach, kind of like what we do here at Aviation Careers Podcast. You can sign up for the career coaching there, or with somebody who's a counselor somewhere, and talk to them and say, "Hey, in my situation, what's the most important?" You have to do a, a holistic approach because if you're the one that's primary breadwinner, now you're in college maybe you've had a child maybe you have a family uh, maybe you're a non-traditional student now this is something we need to think about and talk about which brings us to the next person we need to talk to and that's the person that's a, a career changer someone who has a great career maybe you're a truck driver an attorney uh, you know you're an accountant computer scientist whatever and you've decided this is what i want to do for a living i want to be an airline pilot but i'm a lot older can i still do this what should i focus on well, of course you want to focus on the on the time, but you also have to look at your situation. You probably have a car, a house, some kids, you have responsibilities, you may even have a business. So these things you have to take into consideration. So your situation is different. For those people that are in the Encore career, the Career 2.0, you really need to get your ducks in a row as far as finances are concerned uh, because you've built up all these different, maybe debts, but also uh, li not liabilities, but you know requirements so that you can actually you know help support people. So one of the things that you have to realize is you have responsibilities to people and that you, you changing your job, you have to bring in the whole, the whole village of people that surround you because those are people that are important in your life. So my advice there, again, when get with a career counselor, or a career coach, and say, hey, listen, I want to bring in my family and talk to my family about this. Is this the best thing for me to do? Because these these people are the most important thing in my life right now. And uh, and if I have to, I have to take a job that actually pays more money, but it keeps me flying. And that's where we go back to say that corporate job. Now you're a little older, you might know a little bit more about networking, get into that corporate job that pays real well. May only give you 200 hours a year, but it's still gonna keep you flying. The ultimate though, and this is something that takes a lot more planning on your part if you're the Encore Career 2.0, the career changer, is the fact that you wanna fly a lot more and say you've built up a, a store of cash, there's something you have to really start looking at. Put it on a piece of paper, a spreadsheet, then sit down with the family, sit down with a career counselor and say, this is what I really want to do. And that's what's really important. So hopefully this has helped you out a little bit in thinking about the time or the money, which one's more important in building your career. The most important thing though, to get a job with an, av an airline or any other aviation department is to have the hours. And building your hours is the most important thing to do. But I inspire you to do this. I want you to go out and find the job that builds a lot of hours and also pays well. And those can be found, but it's based on you and your networking. And you're constantly looking for the next thing. That brings up another point. This is what I wanted to talk about a little bit here. Um, a little, something a little... <sighs> Something happened recently where, uh, you know, I was talking to somebody and uh, and another individual who was talking to this young person that said, hey, you know, you should do this. You should be putting your application into this other airline. You should be doing that. Remember this. OK, you're going to throughout your whole career, you're going to have lots of other people like this individual telling you what to do. But don't let that person discourage you. Don't let that person rob your dream. Those people are actually giving you advice and telling you what to do based on their worldview and their experience and their background. They're not you, right? And you can appreciate their advice, you know, but make sure you do what's best for you and what you like to do. Say it's a certain airline that that person doesn't like and they tell you, I want you to apply to this other airline. But what if you like the airline that you're applying to? You don't wanna to go to the airline the other person tells you to go to. I know that it sounds simple, but I see it happen. It's happening a lot right now. We are, because of the hiring right now that's going on, everybody is trying to you know, grab onto that golden ring. But sometimes we forget that that golden ring is actually sitting right here in our hand. And this is, in our life, the golden ring. This is the thing that we really wanna do. This is the place they want to be, or I want to be as an individual. 
Don't let anybody steal your dream. Don't let anybody tell you what to do. Make sure when you're talking to somebody, maybe a career counselor or some, anything like that, a career coach, make sure you preface it and, and look at that person and say, is this person looking out for my best interest? And that's what's most important. So I really highly encourage you to do that, to get with somebody that actually will help you out in your career. Speaking of which, uh, again, a lot of folks have said they, they listen to us on this podcast as far as you know aviation English and how they can learn aviation English. Well, a uh, big shout out, somebody who's actually become our sponsor again is Plain English Sim. PlainEnglishSim.com actually is giving away 50 of those scholarships, guys, I talked about. Um, so you can go to aviationgrosspodcast.com slash free and use their co- coupon code Plain English Sim. But also check out their website because it's an app-based aviation simulator uh, and it's a communication simulator both for VFR and IFR and it helps you with these terms it's it's actually it's a great product Um, I've uh, reviewed it I don't use it because I I do that all day but uh, I really love it I mean I think it's really cool and that's why I love having them as a sponsor because I really believe in this product so planninglessim.com Check out what they've done for the folks here at the podcast and what they've uh, enabled us to do as far as giving away scholarships. And if you want a free scholarship uh, guide, go out to aviationcareerspodcast.com slash free. You'll see the coupon code that I mentioned here and the other ones from our folks at the Pay It Forward campaign. A big shout out to them. But first of all, when we're looking at this information here, to conclude, the most important thing you need to do is to answer that question, what's more important for me, the time or the money? is to really dive into your situation. Whether you're somebody who's in high school, college, you have more responsibilities in life, you have to actually answer that question yourself. And make sure that you don't let anybody steal your dream. Make sure that if if you're going towards a goal and someone tells you you're going in the wrong direction, you actually wanna look at that person and, and look at how they're speaking to you. Are they telling you to help you? Are they reflecting their world onto your world? And the most important thing that you can do for me today, and it's, it's the most important thing just in anything in life that you do, is don't stop today. Make sure that you, you take a step today to move forward in your career, in your life. And that's, what, that's why I'm doing this, because I want to see you progress. And, and if you could, please send me an email, feedback at aviationcareerspodcast.com. Tell us a little bit about you and about your story. If you want to come on the show, just email me. And, and maybe I'll have you on the show to talk about how you, by th- through taking just one step a day, were able to get to your career goal. But again, most importantly for me and for the aviation world and, and for everybody out there, take one step today towards your career goal. Well, folks, safe flying. We'll talk to you next episode.